want to start this class. Today we are going to be learning clothing and how to describe what one is wearing. All right, first we're going to learn how to actually um, say the different words from clothing. Okay, so we have, uh, let's see, about 12 different words that we're going to learn today. All right, first we have la blusa. La blusa means a blouse. Okay. El calcetín is a sock. Oops. I put that in the wrong color. I'm going to change that. Otherwise, that's going to bother me. Okay, that is a sock. So obviously you would have to make that plural, los calcetines, if you would want it to refer to a pair of socks. All right. La camisa is just a normal shirt. But la camiseta is a t-shirt. Then we have la chaqueta is a jacket. And we'll do one more on this slide. La falda, which is a skirt. Please make sure that you pause the video and write these down because you're going to have questions later about them. So let's repeat each of them now. La blusa. El calcetín, la camisa, la camiseta, la chaqueta, and la falda. All right, looks like we have seven more. So for a total of 13, but let's go ahead and do these other seven. All right, this one's an easy one. Oops. Here we go. Los... Jeans. <laughs> Los genus is how some countries say them. Obviously, you probably know that is jeans. All right. Los pantalones. Los pantalones. You could probably guess that one too. Pants. All right. Make sure you say pantalones, not pantalones, because every time you see an a in Spanish is going to be A, ah, so it's pantalones. All right. Then just in general, we say la ropa for just clothing. It means clothes or clothing. All right. El sombrero. El sombrero is a hat, as you probably knew. And actually, just so you know, there's a couple different words for different kinds of hats. Um, but for now, we'll just leave it as el sombrero. I'll teach you some of the other words a different time. All right, next we have el suéter. Emphasis on the first syllable there. El suéter. Okay. Which means a sweater. Two more. El vestido. El vestido is a dress. And lastly, el zapato. El zapato is a shoe. So if you wanted to talk, oops, if you wanted to talk about a pair of shoes, it would be los zapatos. All right, let's repeat each of these. Los, oops. Starting up here. Los jeans. Los pantalones. La ropa. El sombrero. El suéter. El vestido. And el zapato. All right, let's go ahead and learn how to use these then. 
So, to be able to describe um, something that you're wearing, you actually use the verb llevar. Okay? Llevar means, in this case, to wear. It can actually also mean to carry, but for now, we're going to be using it as to wear. All right? Llevar, as you can see, is an AR verb. This is a regular regular AR verb. All right, so when you have this chart, it's going to conjugate just like your regular AR verbs, which is ending in O, AS, A, AMOS, and AN. All right, so just like all the other regular AR verbs, it's going to end like that. So if you want to say, I wear pants, or whatever, it's like this. Yo llevo pantalones. That's like saying I wear pants. All right, what does this mean? Tu llevas una, oops, una camiseta. What's that mean? Look at your notes. All right, it's you wear a t-shirt. All right, let's do a couple the other way from English to Spanish. How would you translate this? He wears a hat. That's a long sentence, but you know all of those words. It should be like this. El lleva un sombrero. All right. Here's another one. We wear some, whoa, what happened there? That was going to be an S. We wear socks. Well, we is nosotros. The conjugation of llevar for we would be llevamos, and then socks would be calce. Like this. Nosotros llevamos calcetines. All right. Then if you take this a step further, you could add colors in. So what if you wanted to say, um, he wears a black hat. Okay, if you wanted to say he wears a black hat, remember that colors or adjectives go after, so we're actually going to insert the adjective right here. So if he wears a black hat, it would be, él lleva un sombrero negro, and you put it right here, up here. Él lleva un sombrero negro. Or what if I wanted to say, we wear green socks. Remember, it's actually going to go here after the noun. So it would be nosotros llevamos calcetines. Verde is green, but since this is plural, this is also going to be plural. So it would be nosotros llevamos calcetines verdes. All right. So let's do one or two more. All right, translate this. I wear... A yellow jacket. I wear a yellow jacket. How would you do that? Yo llevo una chaqueta. Remember the noun comes first. Una chaqueta. And then the color amarilla. Now this ends in an A because this is feminine and this is feminine. Okay, so they all have to follow suit. All right, one more. 
How about they? Oop. They wear red shirts. They wear red shirts. Ellos llevan. Noun comes first. Camisas. And then it's going to be rojas. All right. This right here has to be feminine and plural because this is feminine and plural. And this one is the noun. The adjective will follow the noun. And it has to follow whether it's feminine or masculine and whether it's singular or plural. So because this is feminine and plural, this has to be feminine and plural. All right. All right. That is all for today. I hope that you have a good evening. And um, why don't you look for a way that you can be a blessing to someone close to you. All right. Adios. Nos vemos.